So what we have here, <coughs> that big white thing right in the middle of the screen, is an unwrapped water heater. You can see the wrapping is laying underneath of it on the floor. <coughs> that is an indirect hot water heater that you would just a standard indirect hot water heater you hook up to your existing uh, boiler in your house. Um, that, um, when you, if you have to buy these, that is pretty much the most expensive piece. Um, if you're building it yourself, that's about a thousand dollar water heater right there. Now I was fortunate I got this one for free because it was being replaced um, because it has a small leak in it. This particular one, um, other than the fact it's leaking, is actually a really good water heater. It's all stainless steel. It's put out by uh, Megastore. Um, I'm not going to go into the patching or all that but because I don't want anybody to do what I did and have something go wrong and have a leak in the house and then I get blamed. But um, I am patching this one. There's several ways you can do it. Um, you can, uh, I can mention several ways. I'm just not going to tell you how I'm doing it. Uh, you can uh, weld it. You can JB weld it. You can uh, fiberglass it. Um, there's all there's, there's all kinds of ways you can braze it. Uh, you might even be able to solder it, but um, that's um, you know that's for you to determine how you want to do it. If you want to go this route, if you are handy, um, as you can see, my garage here I have uh, it's kind of a mess up at that end, but I do do a lot of stuff, so I'm fairly handy. So I will patch that without any trouble at all and have myself about a thousand dollar watt heater for free um, so that is a huge huge deal so if you can get a hold of one of those and you're handy enough that you can patch it that is definitely the way to do it in my case the the leak on this is right up um, right on that edge right there um, the leak is actually turned away from the camera because I am currently uh, doing the patchwork but once that's patched that will save me a ton so the leak is actually right over here it's near the um, outlet which will uh, go to your um, existing water heater um, yeah actually I'll just briefly cover how this is going to set up so um, Maybe I'll wait because the camera view is not in view. But anyways, the leak is right here on the side. It's actually right on this portion, which is unusual being stainless steel. This probably has a, a lifetime warranty, but um, can't, obviously they tend to go bad. Uh, so I'm patching that, and then I'll put this all back together. It'll actually look like new because the housing uh, on it, there's really nothing wrong with it. It's going to look like a brand new water heater once it's all put back together. So that is that. Um, I can actually move the camera here and talk about how that's going to be set up, but you'll get a better view later once it is set up. So you can see right there there's three, there's actually four ports, but there's two right there. So the bottom one will be the cold in from your either your city water, or in my case, well water. This next two, um, let's see, this one right there and that one right there. That will be the two that go to the solar. That's a coil in there. So your um, your uh, hot will come in up here from the solar and then it will go back out as it cools out here back up to the solar to be reheated. Okay, And then inside there that coil is going to get hot. It's going to heat the water up inside this tank which is coming in from your well down here. And then uh, up here, where I mentioned a few minutes ago, this pipe right here that'll go out and over to your existing cold in on your existing water heater so you always have a backup if you have no solar your existing water heater will take over and then this one other spot right here is where your control will go in to read your temperature uh, typically that's where the control will go in to tell the your boiler to turn the circulator on and to start heating because the water in the tank is dropped down but in this case where it's going to be a solar uh, the solar controller will go in there to monitor that temperature. Um, but that's that. So that is one of the most expensive pieces of the build. So if you can get one for free and repair it, or get one for free that doesn't need to be repaired, even better. 
So that's it for now, and uh, I'll get back to you after I get these um, aluminum fins in place, and we start the painting.